So we're back. Hey, just, just a quick sec. I had to go see my uh, my weed man because it ain't the smokers lounge. Just I'm smoking too, you know. Per so, but like I was saying. Uh, Anyway, welcome to the Smokers Lounge, actually. <laughs> I'm your host, Gavin Arvin Subbit Chat, aka the Point Rap Star. Find all my links with one link, allmylinks.com backslash Point Rap Star. Uh, you know the sponsors, lsworld.com, excitebunny.com, eroticismmagazine.com, as well as blusherotica.com. Com. Proud member of the GW District Black Podcasting Network. So go over to shop GWDistrict.com and buy something. And also go to Fully Swap Radio, where you can listen to me in the mornings, Monday through Fridays, as I chop it up with the industry's greatest and brightest talent, as we give you that real smoke about the industry like we're about to do now. And also check me out on SkyHeartAppTheDarkTV.com, as well as the BGP LLC app. So as you can see, with, the, with them big titties and that pretty smile looking all beautiful and natural and hitting her wonderful uh, joint, blunt, whatever the fuck it is, the one and only Anastasia Allen Poe. Say hello to the smokers. Everybody. So happy to be here. Most definitely. So, but not, but, but, but back to what we were talking about, because, um, like I said, a lot of stuff been happening. I mean, I'm seeing a space now where this one dude had to bring receipts to prove that a girl was lying on him type situation. <laughs> it is, oh, the internet, man. It's, whew. It, it just, it just so much shit has been happening um, and everything. So, but, but we'll, 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 we'll get to that and everything because, like I said, um, what other shoots have you done since the Alpha Tower? What um... I did, oh, I did this really fun uh, public shoot. I have a, a performer friend that works at a smoke shop mm. and um, like kind of manager level. So he gets, you know, he opens and he has a store to himself. So we actually filmed there at the shop mm. um, and I fucked myself with a bong. Oh, God. <laughs> now that smoke. <laughs> that is smoke, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness. I speak. And see, as you heard, yes, it was a public shoot, but here's the difference. It was not, how can I put this, thought out, timing, the whole nine. Not like some of you dumb motherfuckers that want to do shit with people in the fucking stores. Yeah, okay, we have to, we have to talk about this. You cannot, public porn is not the same as public sex. Public sex is a crime. Yes. Public porn is staged, like all porn. Like, you can't go out and have sex in front of unconsenting people. That is so wrong. And it, and, and then when I sit there and I see these people do this shit, it's kind of like, wait a second, what? You do understand. <laughs> They're making us all look bad. They're making us all look unprofessional. Oh, no, I hate that. Oh, no. And I've seen, I, I don't remember the creator's name, but I, I I remember reading about a creator that got put on the registry for her sexual shoot. Her public so, shoot, I mean. Because it, it wouldn't surprise me. I probably know who it is because she probably was the one that was shooting at fucking Macy's. Oh, like, my God. And it, it, it like, even when I remember I saw this video where they was in Popeye's. I guarantee you when they shot that one, they made sure that you didn't know it was Popeye's. You kind of figured it out, but they made it a point that you didn't know it was Popeye's. It didn't, you know, even if they did it, they made it painstaking and also the timing of it because guaranteed Popeye was closed. A hundred percent. There were no customers in the building when they shot that. You can't shoot porn like that. No. And, and to me, that's where, like I said before, when we had arguments with the content creators and stuff like that, they muddy it up because they don't understand the psychology of when we do outdoor shoots, public shoots. It's not, it's really why I call it public because we outside, motherfucker. Right, it's not public because we're doing it in front of a, a crowd of people who did not consent to be there. No, it, it, shit, when we do it at the pool, is a pool that... <laughs> Yeah, we, we done went and got a Airbnb that has a pool attached to it with a fence. <laughs> Can, you can't look over. Right. I just, I think the problem 
with the rise of the internet is this is where everybody's getting their information from. And I love that. I think that's a beautiful thing. But the problem is, is that people trust everything they see on the internet now and they take everything they see as real. And with the rise of AI, which terrifies me, I, I just see it getting worse and worse, all this misinformation. People's thinking porn is real life and that you can just go out into a public space with unconsenting people and, and have sex in front of them. That is wild to me that anyone would think that's okay. But see, but, but even more so, it's not just that. It's also we in that viral era. Yes. Where everybody wants to be viral. They, they, they want the viral moment. They want to have that video that they want it, it like this. The worst thing happened with Kim Kardashian. She got like, famous. When they put when she put out that porn. Because now she gave a blueprint to these girls. Because that's why all these girls didn't have an issue jumping on OnlyFans during the pandemic. Because she did something that made her scandalous. Mm -hmm. And you saw where it took her. Right. They didn't take into account part of that is luck and also her mama. A hundred percent. Look and her mama. The, the other part, actually, the main part, look more so than her mama. You know, period. So they want that viral moment. Right. But viral moments is what they are, moments. Because once that viral moment passes and things settle down, you know, what else you gonna do? If, you know, because I said this before, I was like, you can't. When you do your when you do your scenes, when you do your shoots, when y'all come up with shit, the kids variety is the spice of life. Yes. You have to have a variety of different scenes on your shit. You can't predicate it like some of these girls might predicate solos. I've been saying this. I don't mean no harm. At some point, you have to fuck a dude. I'm sorry. Unless you unless you are camming and interacting with your fans, I don't think solo videos mm. are are um, are a sustainable thing. I I would agree with that. If you can cam with it, I think mm. there is a market for solo videos if you're if you're personable. But mm. if you're just making videos of you masturbating, mm -hmm. you're that's gonna burn out very quickly. But but even to do okay then even to camming, okay because we about to have that real conversation here. Like I said, I'm not saying this because I say that all females, y'all should just go fuck dudes. No, 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 no. Listen, hear me out. The key to this is if you have a site. Because many of these cam girls do do content. Mm -hmm. Okay. You do have a site. The, the key to a site is you don't want them to leave. Because in essence, you got a Netflix. Because they're streaming your shit. They're watching your shit, whether they're downloading it, what have you. They're streaming it. In some way, shape, form, or fashion. The reason why you have the, the the boy girl is to one to attract boy girl money. Yes. You know, period. I ain't sitting here to say that you had that. Now, now do, should you go work with a professional male talent? I suggest you should. But let's say you just don't. You want to fuck with damn Bobby, you know, Bobby or Jimmy down the street. You know, okay, you, the content creator dude. They got the little only fans. He got a cell phone and ring light. Mm -hmm. That's fine. But you kind of need it because change of pace, another way of generating money. Because at the end of the day, let's keep it 100. Y'all mother, some of these damn female fuck for fucking drinks. <laughs> let's keep it 100. Y'all sit here giving away the pussy for free. Go to the club, take a dude home and fuck the shit out. Why not go ahead and get some money off this shit? Because to me, what's the point of having shame of any kind? Because you that shame, your ass wouldn't be sticking a dildo in your pussy. That's just my opinion. I'm, it, I can, no, I totally get your argument. I don't think, from what I understand, and I can't really speak to it because I work with male creators. Yeah. From what I understand, I don't think that it's a shame thing. I think it's a like a safety concern, especially with all of these accusations coming out. It's really hard to know who to trust in this industry. Everybody... Not everybody, but a lot of people know how to be charming. Like they learn how to be charming and 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 cover up uh, with a mask mm. all the all the sinister intentions they have. So mm. I think a lot of girls that are coming into this industry are just very weary of these 
especially when you have so many of these male content creators that yeah. that are a hundred percent in this for fucking. They're not about a business. They don't care about the content. They don't care if it looks good. They don't care about any of it. They're literally just there to get their dick wet. That's, well, I mean, there's a lot of them. There's a lot more than- But, but, see, the, but the thing of it is, is I tell females this. Okay, when dudes pick, yeah, they're gonna pick girls that they wanna, they, probably kind of creators do pick probably girls they wanna fuck, but at the same token, it's the reason why they picked you. Because if your Instagram was popping, your Twitter was popping. So even though, yes, it was about pussy for them, it still was a method to the madness. It it, it just wasn't that you were just finding shit. Mm -hmm. It was, okay, man, I, if I fuck Anastasia, you see who she shot with, dog? Yeah, I fuck Anastasia Allen Poe, nigga. She shot with such and such and such, such. I didn't... Fuck me, a bona fide porn star because you're a bona fide porn star. I even asked this. I, I, I asked y'all this. When you say you you can name a porn star, you can't name a cam girl. <laughs> See, but that's not fair. I don't want. I'm not. A, I'm not a cam person. No, I feel no, like no, it's no, if, no, no, no. But no, it seriously. Like I said again, because if, like for example. If you ask a cam girl, who's your favorite porn star? Or the average person, who's your favorite porn star? They're going to tell you a porn star. If you ask who your favorite cam girl, they can't tell you unless they actually wit they, they actually do the cam girl shit. Unless they actually are cam fans. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? You know, period. Because... I don't know. I, but I don't know if the everyday person has... I think we we are around people like that do enjoy porn so we're used to that but like i ask I, I since i started sex work i've asked people in my everyday life about that like oh hey do you have a favorite porn star they don't they don't and they watch porn but they don't they don't think about stuff like that like it's just like a especially, like, well, especially now damn it because it's so fucking exaggerated <laughs> you can't tell the porn star from the cop degrees let's get real you know period it because it's like it's like for example if porn stars, like for example, you did, you shoot studio style, meaning you shoot with a camera guy, you have light, lighting, even if they're in a camera guy, you have a professional camera with professional lighting, studio lighting, where have you, I don't give a damn if it's the, the, the yellow construction light that you buy at Walmart. <laughs> It's going to be hot as fuck in that room with them motherfuckers, trust me, because that's what I started with. But the point being, you're going to have a, a studio-type feel and set up to your shoot. I don't give a damn if it's content or paid or trade or what have you. With these content trade, it is considered amorish because they're not thinking about the aesthetics. They're just thinking about the fucking and just getting it filmed. You know, period. So you shoot studio-ish. Studio -ish. You know, Me? yeah. I don't know. I think a lot of my, a lot of the stuff that I personally shoot is fairly amateurish, in my opinion. I do my best to make it look as good as possible because I am trying to put out the best content as possible. But I don't, you know, I I shoot with a ring light I got from Walmart. I shoot on my phone. Um, the times that I shoot with a high quality camera because I don't have the money to invest in a high quality camera right now is with studios or with other performers but see but not but here's the point once again variety okay you got the cell phone now as i tell your cell phone videos is what your solos right yeah i i do shoot some of my my um cus my collabs on my phone as yeah, well. yeah and you do some collabs but you also have professional style scenes a few you know yes. what i'm coming from yeah yeah especially you give a selfies but you have professional style pictures yes let me explain to you why, one, now you become more marketable. Because even to the point, let's keep it 100. Porn, you got, they, we, they got to move like the influence in the IG girls now. Where you post, where you're doing the selfies, you know, you take the picture here, you take the picture there. But what females don't get, even the Instagram girls have some professional looking shit. Mm -hmm. Because the whole point is what they're trying to attract is sponsors, People that are going to make them brand ambassadors, going to give them money to wear their clothes, push their products, and talk. 
or go to parties or what have you. Right. So, because being a sex symbol sells. Mm -hmm. And what sells anything better than a beautiful ass woman? Think about it. When you go to a woman's clothing store, what what, what sex is 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 the uh the associate? Woman? When you go to a male store, you might see two men, but the rest of them is what? Women. Even a woman is at even a gorgeous ass woman is at a car lot. Yeah, I mean, sex sells. Yeah, because I mean, to me, that that that's why it's important that yeah, you it's not wrong with okay if you have the cell phone videos, but you can't have all of them cell phone. Plus, on top of that, fans respect grind; they really do. Because you trying to get you trying to get a beehive. I want y'all to understand that, what I mean by that. You want to be high. A swarm. <laughs> Not like the movie swarm or the, the show swarm. No, you 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 want fans that that emotionally invested in you that they will spend their money. You know, so shoot. So that's why I said with you, I, I, I be seeing you. I be watching you. <laughs> so, well, she, so, I, so I'm asking you a question. I, right. when you do the solo content, because you not only do where you play with the toy, you all, you know, in the pussy, but you all do the titty fuck. How do you decide <clears throat> what I have enough of and what I need more of? Um, I usually interact with the fans on that. I ask, you know, I do a lot of polls. Um. <clears throat> I I always am checking comments on videos. I'm checking reviews. I'm checking ratings. What's what's selling the best? What has the most likes? That kind of thing. Um, and then yeah, just pump out more of of what my fans are enjoying. And then you know I do I like to do things for myself, of course, um, and explore different things. Um, and I just. I really like my favorite thing about doing sex work is like the freedom uh, in sexual exploration. Like I'm, I'm free to try and do so many different things um, that I, I probably wouldn't in my regular life. Yeah, because that's the beauty of our business. It allows us to explore our sexuality because we're paid for that. Yes. You know. Um, Which, oh, see, this opportunity if you actually be a real slut, you know, you don't feel embarrassed about it. <laughs> exactly. Because <laughs> like yeah. my girl, Larry, Larry Scott said, when she won the White Out Award, yes, I'm just being the best hoe I can be. Yeah, it, it, let's keep it one it. Because that's what porn stars are. Yeah. That's what sex workers are. It's, it's you supposed to be that nasty freak. You supposed to be that dirty freak. You supposed to be that slut. That's the whole reason why they paying to see you. Mm-hmm. I don't give a damn with a dildo with a dude. Or with a chick. It don't matter. Shit, transgender. It, it don't even matter. They they paying to watch you be dirty as fuck. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's why I'm like, you can't come, you you can't be shamed in this game because you ain't gonna make no money. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be ready to try and do, you know. Anything. Yeah, because because yes, you 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 get you get nasty. It's nasty. You get nasty. Yeah, you, you get sloppy. It gets wet. So I mean, I right, how turned on do you be in your scenes? It depends on the scene. Depends on. It definitely depends on the scene because I do I do do some fetish work and not every fetish is for me. Mm-hmm. Be honest. Like I I did a wedgie scene. Um, I was laughing the entire time. I, not taking, I can't, I was not turned on. I was like, this is, this is silly to me. Not judgment at all, but just, I did not something that I understand. Um, but like my, if I do something more like up my alley, like intercourse, you know, um, or 
even like different fetishes like piss I'm trying to get into. Mm-hmm. Um, I I can get really turned on. So she's going to get into all the sports, ladies and gentlemen. Damn, I hate I retired in this damn generation. Jesus, y'all some y'all some, some real sluts and freaks. I love it. <laughs> Cause no, it was no way here I could find I, I was no way here I find a female when I was in the business that would let me pee on. No, 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 I, 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 I never got the opportunity to do it, but I. But other than that, none. No, she barely find them. They want to do anal. Wow. Yeah. Different you know, world. It was like, now nah, you too thick. <laughs> hey, hey, shoot! Like, I mean, no, seriously, I only did one, two, about six anal scenes out of four hundred scenes I've been shot. Wow. Yeah, I'm not. I don't. Six to ten. Six to ten. Six to ten. Six to ten. Okay. I got to think about all that. But yeah, it's it wasn't that. Me, trust me, it's low percentage. <laughs> it's low I've done a few anal scenes. It's not my favorite, to be honest. Like, if if I have dealer's choice, I'm not gonna pick anal. I'm gonna pick something more fun for me. No, I now I used to ask you. That's one thing I said. Uh, are you into anal? But I'm not. I'm not into it. I'm yeah. not like against it. I just don't like the, all the prep. There's too much prep. No, it's it's as soon as I heard. No, as soon as I heard it. See, you ain't got the. It's what they don't say. Is what they're saying. <laughs> it was like, well, you know, it is. You know, I you know I do it, but I don't do it regularly. And uh, no, nah, no, nah, we good. We good. No, nah, we ain't got to worry about doing it. No, no, because we're not about to try this out on camera. <laughs> We not about to try this out on camera, cause no, but no, because first of all, it'll kill the mood. Because understand, when you're trying to put your hard dick in an asshole that would not let you get through, mm-hmm. it your dick gonna limp quick, you know. Period. Just we've been uh, a couple times when she had to turn back around and give me some head, and then we got it back right, you know. But that, but that, but see, but I also go to the priming of what the dude got to do, even. Because it's not just y'all prep, it's also the priming that he has to do. Because shit, I mean, there's some dicks you ain't gonna prep. You, you, you don't have much prepping. <laughs> no, you will never be ready for that dick. I know. Lord have mercy. <laughs> okay. So, do you orgasm doing in all your scenes? Not in all of them, no. Most of them, yeah, but not all of them. So shoot. So what is it? So, um, what was it about the scenes when you did orgasm um, that allowed you to orgasm versus the scenes that didn't? Um, I guess it really depends. Sometimes I don't orgasm because I'm too in my head because I'm having you know some sort of performance anxiety. Um, especially if I work with the creator that I like either I'm very attracted to or like kind of look up to in some sort of way like that I will get really in my head about my performance and everything and then I can't enjoy the experience as much um so I think the experiences that I that I usually orgasm are the ones that I'm doing it with somebody familiar Mm -hmm. somebody that I've worked with before um yeah uh see they can get away with not orgasming and or, or people knowing where they orgasm. <laughs> they can get away with being starstruck. Men? No, no, no. Our starstruck is a totally different situation. <laughs> <laughs> Way more embarrassing. Because <laughs> he may not even know she was starstruck. You know what I'm saying? Right. But she will know if a dude is starstruck. Came a little too fast, get take a while for him to get back up. Can't get it up. You got to take a break. Got to step away. You getting in his head like, oh god, right. Anastasia, I'm fucking Anastasia. Shit, <laughs> you know, nah, it. But see, but see, I think what prepped me for the business also because I rap, so I've been around stars. So mm-hmm. it was like to me, they were nothing but just females that do porn. And, see, that's the thing. This. This is my like foray into like yeah. the stardom world. So they st- I still look at a lot of uh, other performers like like stars, like superstars, and like I'm honored. Like um, Alex Cole, yeah, recently followed me on Twitter, and I got so excited because I really look up to her. I've been watching her stuff for a while, and so like 
I, you know, she, she's even like expressed that she might work, we might work together in the future. Mm -hmm. So like, I, it's hard, it's still hard for me to wrap my brain around experiences like that because I, like, even though I've been doing it for a while, I still don't mm -hmm. totally feel like I'm like a part of the industry. Mm -hmm. So every time it's I get the chance- like Females say they shit. It just, I just be laughing, I be like, yeah, but you got you got like a five to six body count of top male talent, but you don't feel like you in the the industry. Mm -hmm. okay. I don't know. I don't know. I just uh, I don't. I I'm still a smaller creator in my opinion. It's like, but I mean, but you let's see what because you're still in year one, right? Yeah, ha halfway through the second. It's it's it like put it this way. It's like. The difference between who, how you tell who's hot is way different from when back in the day because there was more measuring sticks to it. Mm -hmm. Because the measure sticks was, okay, how much work you were getting in Hollywood, how many covers you own in DVDs, you know what I'm saying? Um, the, and then, of course, as, as because the internet was, so, was starting to pump, websites, mm -hmm. you know, period. So it was a lot more that kind of ladies could gauge it with. They kind of can't gauge it now because <clears throat> everything is so much together. Mm -hmm. Because think about it. Um, you're now gauging yourself against a woman on OnlyFans that don't even do what the fuck you do. Right. <laughs> Let's give it. Some of the 1% do not stick shit in their pussy. But you are technically competing against them. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So the way that we gauge now, you know what I'm saying, period. That's why it's like with me, how I gauge which ladies is hot, who's having the hot year, what have you is the talent that you work with, the type of content that you're putting out, plus your growth as far as following fan base, what have you. And like I said, yeah, your body, body count. Because if you're shooting with top talent, you're being seen because they're putting the scene out too. Right. And then you're also doing companies, there's even more, you know, period. So, yeah, it's, if, if you're still doing content creators, you're not popping in the point, is you? You're just popping on Twitter. <laughs> Unless you were Miss B. Nasty, which they made you a lady. They were like, you know, so since you're killing so bad, we're just going to. Here, to give you a award. There you go. Right. Only fans, girl, award. There you go. Hey. <laughs> Love Miss Be Nasty. She's great. Yeah, I mean, it. it's like, it's like I tell everybody, I said, they kind of underscore really her impact. Good as well as bad, honestly. Because, you know, I tell people, I look at every way. Because she did usher in bad to a certain extent. But she also changed the game to how the money is made with porn. And I don't think people really think about that. They really don't. <laughs> Cause, because it, it even to the point where she does customs. Uh, the dildos. The public shit. You know, all that shit. It's kind of like <clears throat> when the way that porn made his money changed, it changed. Because now it made it easier for like I said the average motherfucker to make money <coughs> it made it and then too also made because I'm gonna be honest with you I think a lot of females chose to do the deal though shit because they just didn't want to fuck a dude on camera <laughs> and they saw that what she was doing and she would post how much she made so there you go there you go I'm sorry because we no dip you know but it's I'm going to ask you this. Who do you think pocket watch the worst, men or women in this business? Say it again. Who do you think pocket watch pocket watch the most? So some of y'all don't understand that lingo is they 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 always look at what a person making and comparing it to themselves and this, that, and the third, you know, because I uh, heard an argument that some men was complaining that they said, well, hell, we women making more money than us. With these scenes on OnlyFans and this, this, this. You, you, you do realize 
she was going to make more money than you. Yeah. With the scene, regardless, on any platform, on any site. <laughs> if y'all was on the street, they would probably go to her first. <laughs> I got Anastasia VP. Anastasia right here, nigga. I don't need to talk to you. <laughs> See, but but you get what I'm saying, right? I mean, who you think probably watch the worst? I know women do it too, and well as men. I, I... <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, I'm I'm guilty of it from time to time, and then I, you know, I remember that I'm not I'm not in this business to compare myself to the other performers. Mm -hmm. I want to work with everybody. I think every well, not everybody. I shouldn't say that, but I I, <laughs> I want to work with most performers that I meet. So I, I'm not really working against them in my mind. Um, so I, I, in from what I've seen, I think it's it's men. I think it's male performers. Mm -hmm. Which is fucking sad because it used to be the female performers, but then men start wearing skinny jeans, and the rest is history. Um, <laughs> no, because to me, at the end of the day, um, the only thing men used to fight over back in the day, producers, was was the chicks because mm -hmm. they wanted to be the first one to shoot up, and some producers was fucking talent off camera and shit and you know how personal shit gets in the way of business and and stuff of that nature and that's why i said when it comes to this game because we do have we do our business is based around sex <clears throat> we have to be mindful of how we are around each other you know, period, because I, I heard some things about this year ex biz that I was like, you know, I, I'm not going to say exactly, but if you're going to be sucking dick at poolside, don't you think you don't want to do that with everybody that's around? I don't give a damn. They change your dumb ass on and they change you on. I, I mean, I understand it, but still, it's a decorum. Because you still at a hotel. There might be kids there. <clears throat> but, you know, each and only grown people. I ain't knocking. I probably would have been cheating your ass home too. <laughs> That's the sad part. I ain't a hypocrite. I'd be like, yeah. I'd be, I'd be making everybody cheer like, yeah, say it. Suck that day. Suck that day. Ah. I can't get with the public stuff. I can't. And the, it frustrates me because it's not like it's not something that I want to do. I love public sex. I think it's very sexy. I would love the experience. But I'm not going to subject strangers to that. I'm going to find, like, a porn event and have because sex see, in front it, of a crowd. No, because, see, it's not okay then. If y'all in a content house, by all means indulge. But this is, like, public. a convention. Now, granted, it's ex mm -hmm. but you do realize that there are companies there that are right now sitting watching your ass, and or or if you're doing anything, they're watching anybody because them companies are looking who's gonna be the next big star, this, that, and third. There's certain things that they're gonna want out of this lady that they're gonna shoot, the ladies that they're gonna shoot. One of the things is. I'm going to say this, put a pin in it. I'm going to say this, and then I'm going to go back to it so y'all can understand where I'm going with this. For the five things it tells the woman, <coughs> fuck you, it takes a half of one of us to say fuck you, and we won't tell you. Now, take the pin back out, let's go back. They're watching this shit. Now, their thought process is, it's cute at this point in time, but okay, we just had, what, three, four, five scares with tests, right? They had a new strain chlamydia mm -hmm. <laughs> that then popped it. Now, motherfuckers got to have their asses and mouths and holes swabbed now. And like, I, and like I said, when they have a work stoppage, that's millions of dollars lost. So they're seeing you do what you do. And it ain't about the mid-level guys because it, no, no, no. 
You want to get to the brasses. You want to get to the nada. If you're going to do this shit, do it right. Even to the pump at this damn third. They're going to look at that shit and they're going to be like, she going to fuck on set with her test good. <laughs> I mean, she, I mean, I wish I was filming what she was doing, but what do you say? Because, I mean, what if it was just a regular party? It won't no porn stars. And you got to shoot to do the next day. <laughs> Cause it's money. When you're around money, they're gonna think money. They ain't gonna give a fuck about your damn. They ain't gonna give a fuck about none of the pussy that's out there. What they there for is one to scout the next girls they're about to shoot. They're trying to see who's making it hot, who's hot, and they're watching. So, but not, nah, but, but like I said, no disrespect. You grown with whoever. Did that, what have you? You grown? God bless you. I know you had fun, but it's just something I want you to think about for the next go around. Because at the end of the day, we all do shit, crazy shit when we're young and porn. Trust me, I did it my damn self. <laughs> but you got to remember, it's a slippery slope. And the last thing you want to be is on the blacklist. There's still one in the world. Actually, there's a white list for dudes that come fast. <laughs> no, seriously. So shoot. So I'm gonna ask you this: Have you experienced a rough shoot, meaning that it it was a grind to get through? Just the one in uh, at AVN. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say who the shoot was with, but um, suffice it to say, it was a bad decision on my part to work with him, and. Uh, yeah, that scene never got released. Uh, I, I deleted all of the footage. Um, yeah. Now, now, we're about to get to the meat of a conversation. Because like I said, I am the the STO, Smoke is Over, the Smokers Lounge. And my shit is that I want the smoke, we bring the smoke. So that, <laughs> to the shit that's been going on in the industry, from creep shit, all this shit, I. Um, I don't know if you've been paying attention or even cared, you know, period. Um, <laughs> I have. I, I've seen a little bit. Um, you know, I, I, one, I, I, per- what, one creator in particular, I saw a lot of stories come out. Yeah, it's in the, the one that I saw, it, I actually like the dude. Um, I, you know, it. I don't want no one to think that I be moving forward, that we are um, victory shaming or anything of that nature. No, I'm just going off of my experience in a situation similar. Mm-hmm. Yes, because the hardest thing to come back from is being considered a creep, um, an asshole, it, especially men. Women, y'all can get away with lay, way more than we can. You know, period. Especially if you're a moneymaker. But dude, nah. I done heard of one dude was asking girls out on dinner dinner dates after shooting with him. Mm-hmm. He got fired. <laughs> <clears throat> so I'm going to ask you this. Do you think y'all are a victim of the misconception that y'all are single and look <coughs> because y'all do porn? By talent within the industry. Not just fans, but talent the industry because, you know, period. Definitely. Um, yeah, absolutely. I've, I've met a lot of performers. Um, not a lot. I've met a few performers that, that very much treat this like a hookup. Um, and they want to like sext beforehand. And like, I'm okay with like a, a little flirtation. Like, I'd love to know that there's an equal attraction there, but I'm not... I'm not going to send you naked pictures and like, I don't need your naked, like we're going to have sex. We're going to see all of each other Mm -hmm. if we're working together. So I I just, I'm not, I'm not romantically interested in, in all of my scene partners. Yeah. I I just. No, because because, no, it's like, I remember stories 
actually one experience that I, I, I actually had. I'd had experiences where your yeah, girl said, yeah, you know, uh, can we fuck before we no. <laughs> yes. No. I, ha- no. I had to block a creator. So I said, what I married and two, uh, no, because then for my experience, you get mad at me for some apparent reason, and that you know you go on Twitter and you tell everybody that I'm such an asshole and 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 I was trying to fuck you and the whole nine and you know and you made me have to be a creep, which in turn now I have to go on Twitter to explain my side of the fucking story, which I didn't feel like doing, and giving up internal business, not just personal business, but actual business. Right. <laughs> so it's 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 an ugly cycle. Mm-hmm. You know, period. And it was just like it was crazy seeing how many people were saying what they were saying. I was like, there were people that were defending me. And like I said, I've I've been there where <clears throat> it might have been a misunderstanding. It might have been uh she just bold face full of shit. She just mad at the motherfucker and decided to just want to blast them, you know, period. It's just the thing <coughs> that worries me is the number. Because it, this is what I want people to think about. Even if it's to the females that sit there and defend them, they can't sit here and tell me that when they start reading through some of this shit, they don't think. <laughs> that what you don't want, people. These are females. You don't never want to plant the seed of thought on certain things. Because when you think that one was cool, I've been in that situation where I thought a girl was cool and then she came back and then wanted to drag me and cuss me out. And I'm like, huh? You know, period. So that's why I said it's not a good thing to be labeled that or be in that position. Mm-hmm. You know, period. Because, no, damn. Because it's going to fuck you up on future shit. And even shit that you already done, the girls they you might want to circle back to. Don't get it twisted because I don't mean no harm. The one that would defend your ass be the main ones like, well, no, no, I'm busy, you know. Y'all in the same content house. No, we already shot with you. And <laughs> so shoot, now it's like this. When you see stuff like that, how do you look at it? Um, I I I don't want to say I how do I phrase this right? I see it as a positive thing. Mm-hmm. I like when people feel comfortable to come out and express things that, you know, maybe cross the line for them and mm-hmm. express their side of the story. I don't necessarily think that the, this is the problem is, I, I love and I hate the internet. I yeah. just, I don't know that this is like, it is because this is where we all do business. This is where we all communicate. So this is the place to air your, your, public disturbances Mm -hmm. but i don't know it just feels like these things should be in some way i want them to be communicated behind the scenes i want the issues to be resolved interpersonally but at the same time if somebody to this level especially in in this creator's instance with this level of accusations Mm -hmm. these many accusations against him I absolutely want him out of the industry. So I am so proud of everybody that came out mm-hmm. and spoke up about him because now I, I do want him deplatformed. I, I'm not, I'm sorry, but I don't feel bad for his career. If you do bad things in the industry, like in any industry, you're going, to, it, it's going to catch up to you at some point. You know, like you can't be a corrupt judge. Somebody is like, somebody's going to find out someday and then you're going to jail, you know? In this case, I don't know if jail is the answer, but I definitely think that he doesn't deserve a platform in this industry anymore. Yeah, understand. We're talking about broad strokes. She's, she's, it's a couple of people that we that that, that is embroiled in these situations. Mm-hmm. So understand, this is in a generalization, you know, even to whether it's extreme or even minor. Um, because when it comes down to it. Um, like I said before, it's one thing if it's one or two, you can look past it. If he, if you're seeing a whole bunch of the, if you're seeing a whole bunch, it's going to make people question and look. Mm-hmm. And that's why I tell dudes when it comes to this business, you better move smartly. 
Be honest with you, because because even because even the point <coughs> that it's like this to keep it one hundred. Y'all can change your mind in the midst of a fucking shoot. It ain't shit we can say about it. <laughs> I mean, but the, that goes the same way. If if a male perform, I've been at shoots where male yeah. performers couldn't perform. I'm not then going to like yell at them and berate them and be like, why can't your dick get up? You know, I'm going to be like, okay, I'm sorry that this didn't work out, but maybe we can shoot at a later date or something. You know, every, I think everybody has the opportunity and absolutely should stop a shoot if they feel uncomfortable at any point, you know, Mm -hmm. I, 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 I just, yes, I don't love airing out personal information. I feel like that's, Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, because I, I did read some of the allegations, and I'm not sitting here saying I, I question them or what have you, but it's either I look at it this way. This is just my opinion, and I just said it a couple of times. It probably some of you smokers probably heard it three times over. As a male talent, you should stay in your fucking lane of the type of cheating girls that you shoot with. If you still, if you go outside that lane, it's because the female that you went outside that lane with actually communicated, um, <clears throat> communicated and expressed that she wanted to do that. Especially if she's a female that's not in the wheelhouse of porn. It was an IG model, TikTok model, what have you. I don't give a damn if they show tits, ass, what have you. Because, like I said, he has multiple, it's multiple experiences that was was posted. Mm-hmm. It, it's bad enough you have one. Because, like I said, ladies talk. And and what made it make it even worse is that the fact that they were piling on and all the shit was just coming out. And I'm sitting there looking at dude. I'm looking at my man Naomi and tagged and I said, God damn, dog. <laughs> you was hot as fire, nigga. <laughs> <coughs> oh man. And then it, it did some other sh- other dudes that I saw, what have you. But like I said, no, it goes back to my point you have to respect the business you have to respect it if, if you're going to move a certain way you respect the business and you're going to treat the people in the business a certain way because you're going to respect the people in the business because they in the business you're in because at the end of the day it's like this i never wanted to do anything that fuck it up that i can't come back and work with you i can't come back and shoot with you if that's the decision it's because of you and it ain't had nothing to do with me <laughs> at the end of the freaking day or I didn't do anything that caused that that was you you know period so I just think that the problem is that we have a lot of dudes that's getting into business and because it's so easy to get into business they're not forced to respect it because they ain't have to grind for it mm-hmm. to even get in it because I don't even want to go into what the hell we had to go through to get started y'all fuckers got it easy <laughs> oh my goodness so shoot so what else you got planned for the rest of this year any conventions uh any um content houses um yeah no there hopefully fingers crossed is gonna be a content house in kansas city missouri um in june end of june hopefully wait a second kansas city i didn't heard every city but kansas city Missouri, this is gonna be interesting yeah. <laughs> so far there's some very sexy people involved and i am very excited so okay i'm gonna ask you this um when it comes to content houses who do you choose? How do you go about choosing who you want to shoot with? Because, I mean, granted, it, it's like, unless you a beast, you you, you kind of have a number of scenes that you want to shoot to where you know you ain't going to wear yourself out. Mm-hmm. So how do you choose with people that you would, like, work with with them scenes within the content house? Um, No, I definitely, yeah, I definitely have, like, a cap on how many scenes I'll shoot in a day or, a, you know, a stretch of days. Um. 
I'm I'm not going to wear myself sick for any job, even if I love it, you know, and I do love this job. Um, so I guess, I don't know. I just, I look at what's going to be the most marketable for me. Mm-hmm. Um, for uh, Usually for both of us, something that's going to work for both of us, um, whoever I'm working with or, you know, however many people I'm working with. Because um, I definitely want to do some group scenes while I'm out there. Oh, so many group scenes. Um, You're in the perfect places to do it because you had the people around to do it. Right. You know, and um, even to game bangs, orgies, and what have you, it's just like I said, um, it's it, it just like, it's funny how with some, I didn't heard people complain about, well, you know, everybody get the content. Well, why did you go to the content house? <laughs> Every argument, sometimes I be hearing people say, I be like, but that's why you don't go to a content house because everyone shares the content. The house man gets all the content because it's his content house, you know, period. Then you have the cameraman, different talent. But that's the whole point is because if the content house has enough names in there, it, it, that would exit out because mm-hmm. now I got some shit that would draw money. Type scenes you want everything. You get the fuck on the basketball court out of this bitch. Is it? <laughs> so, so what one scene that you want to do in that content house that you've been thinking about? Oh, I want to do an orgy. Mm. I want an orgy. I don't know, maybe eight people, six mm. or eight, six to eight. Good night. I'm sorry. That's the hardest shit to damn. Sh- that's the hardest shit to film. Period. <laughs> That in the game bang, because it's just <laughs> everybody has to be positioned with a game bang. Oh my yeah. God. Oh god, a gang bang. I want to do a gang bang for my birthday really bad. So bad. We'll see. Yeah. Well, we will find out because guarantee, you know, she'll be back here on the smokers lounge, you know. And she will be back for my premium smokers in the premium smoke room. Y'all know what it is. Four ninety nine a month. The best smoke, always premium. Five premium podcasts. Excuse me, six premium podcasts for you to enjoy. And the titties do come out. They might put a popsicle in their mouth. You know, they might show off a deal though, but they ain't gonna do too much with it. So don't, 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 don't get too happy. And but the main thing is the conversation gets more saucier, more candid and very much more real. It's the safe space for the porn industry. So with that being said, Miss Allen Poe, tell everybody where they can spend that good money on them sexy titties and pretty face of yours. I am Annie Allen Poe or Anastasia Allen Poe everywhere. Um, That's A-L-L-A-N. If you spell it A-L-L-E-N, you will not find me. There you go, people. So with that being said, you know how we end this all the time. Now, 900 episodes over. I'm talking about if life, if life is a learning experience, what's the point of the experience? If you haven't learned anything, smoke this over. Say goodbye to him, Anastasia. Bye, everybody. And we are done. <laughs>